All right, this is going to be a quick little overview, review. Well, not really an overview or a review, I guess. Basically, I'm just going to be looking at this new uh, Ubuntu 11.10. Um, I'm not going to really go too much into it because it is a beta. You know, they're still working on it. And um, But visually, I believe the UI is, is, it is what it is. It's supposed to be like what you see, what you get, as far as I know. You know, the, the, the way it had the, the UI freeze and they're just basically working out the bugs and stuff and, and stuff like that. So, uh, anyways... Uh, Right now I'm on my main machine because uh, my secondary machine, the one that I mostly do my Unity videos on, um, refuses to install this this uh, distro, this uh, 1110. So hopefully that will get all worked out with by the you know by the time of the final. But so today I'm just gonna be using a virtual machine. So um, so here it is, and um, you know visually it's pretty much the same thing. You know I mean once you first glance at it, except for like you know the uh, the dock is still the same but now they have this dash button the button was up here but then they moved it down to the bottom so when you hit click on this you know you get this the nice little dash you know it looks good now you know before it was just like a like a black slate now it has this nice little uh, transparent blur the top panel blurs and the, the dock blurs as well and um, it's also a little bit adjustable <clears throat> you can um, like for me, this is a widescreen format, so usually by default when you have a widescreen with, with this uh, Unity desktop, when you hit the dash button or your window key, super key, uh, you just get this little corner of the dash. Now when you, uh, you can actually maximize it, right? And when you close your, your dash and reopen it, <clears throat> it stays maximized. So I think that's a good plus, you know, I'm glad that they added that. It looks a little bit nicer. But anyways, uh, as far as functionality as of the dash, you know, they, they got rid of the lenses in the bottom and they kind of integrated down to here, right? There's a music lens. Um, I don't have any music installed, but I've seen other videos of people using this and it does work. So you just, uh, you can search for certain songs and stuff like that. Uh, your places, right? And also your programs, your applications, stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to show you a couple things with this right now. Let me uh, go back. Let's go to more applications. So... Uh, I guess you have to keep in mind when you're searching for stuff and you're actually breaking stuff down. When you're done with it, I guess click on the All button. Because sometimes it, when you come back to it and you start typing for your programs, it'll only search from your previous uh, location, I guess, like your internet or your fonts or whatever you're, you're looking for. So like if you type S, hope it doesn't, doesn't uh, crash on me again. There you go, S, right? Okay, that's, that's all. So like you want to go to your accessories. And there's your screenshot, you know, calculator, well, search for files, you know, stuff like that, internet. There's no there's no application starting with S in the internet, but there's some stuff for, for download, I guess, or similar applications or whatever. I see uh, graphics, nothing there. Backspace, no, don't work. <clears throat> That's another thing, uh, um, this thing's been crashing me quite a bit, so sorry if I'm rushing. Yeah, it's not responding. Let me, uh, there it goes. <laughs> Let's try, uh, Fox. All right, how about Firefox? Okay, that works. So it's back, okay. All right, anyways. Um, there's something else I wanted to try. So let me, uh, go to my music section and, uh, I believe with the old Nautilus, two, the 2 series, if you right click and make a folder, right, and you were to drag it into here, uh, you, were, you were able to uh, add it there, but I guess now you can't. I don't know. Don't see the plus button. Did I drop it in my pictures? Yeah, okay, I guess it doesn't work. So, uh, how about if I add bookmarks? Add a bookmark. Huh. Let's try it again. Now this what is this? Remove. So I guess I have to be in the folder then. Add bookmark. So your bookmarks show up on top of here and rather than in the computer places right so if if that's there I wonder if it shows up in your dash so let's go to our places and it's not there 
So, I don't know. So I guess they're still working on it, you know, stuff like that I, I've been looking for, you know what I mean? Little, I'm, I hate this, I guess I'm nitpicking about it or whatever. I'm just, I just want to see if it actually integrates and stuff like that. But anyways, um, as far as now is concerned, this is a three, three point something. Let me see, three point, three point one point four. And you know, it's a little bit different than the two series. Um, it looks a lot different. You know, you can grab it from down here if you wanted to. Um, the theme itself has a harder edge on the top. There's a little thin line on if you can see that or not. The fonts have like a little bit of a black, uh, like a drop shadow. And also with the, uh, uh, the overly scroll bars, they seem to carry weight similar to, I guess, to an iOS device or Android device. So if you're like, uh, come on, if you get it to work, there you go. See, if you click it once, how it kind of like just slides, you know what I mean? So little stuff like that I've been I've been looking for, you know, little little aspects of that. Also I noticed uh there's no more shadows. The big fat, you know, shadows in the background. Like when a window becomes focused on top of another. I guess they remove that as well. See there's no I don't see any. Yeah, that's gone. So anyways, there's that I noticed and uh but overall I do think it's a little bit of an improvement. You know, they they went from something that people totally loved and hated at the same time you know I'm kind of in between about it um, you know what I mean it, it serves me well I'm on my on my secondary machine the natty does it runs perfectly fine you know what I mean but on my desktop I'm not really too sure if I would actually switch to this yet but um I don't know it's pretty it's it's getting there and, you know if they give us more of an option to uh, you know move the dock around maybe and stuff like that I do like the dash, you know, I'm starting to like that a lot. Start up the software center. And uh, if this video cuts off at any time, it's probably because it crashed, so I'm, my apologies on that. Okay. <clears throat> the software center I noticed in the virtual machine, you know, it's, it's kind of laggy. Um, there we go. Uh, I haven't installed this on any type of hardware yet, so I can't really default it, you know, default it for that or whatever. Um, anyways, there's no PPAs on the left-hand side. That's what one first thing I noticed. You know, I mean, all your PPAs are still, they're still there. You can still add PPAs if you needed to. You go file, I'm sorry, edit software sources. <clears throat> um, I like the whole idea of this. You know, what I mean, it's it's some people don't like it. I think it's pretty cool. You know what I mean? It looks, it's a little bit more appealing, I guess. A little, little bit easier to use. It's all broken down to your, your uh, sections right here, right? Like education or fonts or whatever. Um, developer tools. And it operates similar to a, kind of like a web browser. So here's your PPAs. Anyways, I mean, uh, your other software, stuff like that. Come on. There we go. Let's try uh, games. There we go, and uh, let's pick uh, Super Ducks 2. There's Xenas. Oh, that's cool. Xenas is in there. I thought I didn't make it for a 64-bit. All right. You know, it gives you a little screenshot. You know, install and uh, your reviews. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, you know, you can. That's one thing I like about this. You're able to, you know, um, be able to join. I guess you know. Uh, you can talk about whether uh, it's good or not. You know, you, you you give your info, your your feedback. You know what I mean? You know, you're part of the project. Is what I'm saying. So, anyways, um, get back. I know it's really slow. Let me just go ahead and turn this, shut this off because I don't want to be spending all day on this because it's really, it's really laggy. There it goes. So anyways, um, as far as default applications, it's pretty much the same thing as before. You know, just with updated software. You know, the, the, uh, you still have LibreOffice, you still have Firefox. Um, Ubuntu one I've been using regularly now. Um, I have, I've never used it before until Natty, and I'm glad I'm using it now. It's actually very useful. Um, I don't use it on any type of smartphone yet. You know, I know they have like a music application, I believe, where they can, you can stream music or something. But, but as far as keeping my... my some of my files I need in the cloud then I can jump to my laptop and I can just grab it from there you know it's very useful so you know it's five gigabytes for free you know give it a try you know I mean it's it's really good anyways um what's over here 
you have your user, your guest account, stuff like that. You can change the icons. You know, you don't have to have those little icons. Um, I don't know how you get rid of the guest session if you don't want it. Probably the Ubuntu tweet guys will probably figure out a way if you don't want the that little there all you know the guest session icon in there all the time. Um, you know, Banshee is installed by default. You know what I mean? Um, there's no more of that Gwibber stuff. You know, where you can type uh, your little message and it'll show up on your Facebook or Twitter. Um, Gwibber is installed though. It's like a new rewrite of it, I guess. And uh, I I haven't used it, but from what I've seen, it looks pretty cool. So, also it's uh, what else they have here? Your chat accounts, I believe, is empathy and um, and your mail service is uh, Thunderbird. There's Quiver. Yeah, it's very laggy. I think I should probably stop the video by now because it's it might crash again. Come on, let me just. Yeah, it's very laggy. Let me uh, close this off. So you can post a little message from here. Yeah, like before it was up here, but now you just you know click on here and you just type what you need to type. So anyways, uh, oh yeah, one more thing before I uh, quit the video. Um, like I was talking about before with Natalis. Um, all right, like when you uh, there's a couple bugs that were, that was kind of been bugging me since uh, the last version. That was like the the floating window bug or the moving window when you were to you know maximize it, right? Then double click it or minimize it, unmaximize. It will constantly float its little way to the far right. Then it'll just disappear on you. Well, it wouldn't disappear. It'll just go to your your uh, your other you know desktop. So I've been fooling around with this for a while, and it doesn't seem to be doing that anymore. See what I mean? So yeah, I guess they got it. They got it fixed. So that's that's a major plus. You know, I'm happy they fixed that. And uh, also the window controls, they they hide by default. You know what I mean? I don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I know they're there and it doesn't really bother me. But as far as uh, someone who's going to be using this for the first time, it might freak them out. It might think something's wrong. I guess maybe. So that's that. So anyways, uh, that's it. And thanks for watching. Okay, uh, there's a couple things I forgot to bring up, and that was the, the new, uh, oh, what do you call it, the uh, tab switcher. Well, tab switching is nothing new, I guess. Um, just that it looks a little bit different, I, I suppose. So, um, so here's one window. Let's see if I open up another one. Or middle click. And here's another one. All right, let me uh, grab, uh, I guess, Ubuntu 1 and my web browser. Come on. Okay. All right. So to switch between all these, if you wanted to, is this Alt Tab, right? And you press like left or right. Oh, geez. Alt Tab. There he goes. Left or right. And since I have two home folders open, I uh, press up. I'm sorry, down. There he goes. Then you can pick between the two. So that's pretty cool how they how they have that. I kind of wish like this thing or whatever it is you would call it this uh, multi tab I guess or would be like implemented into the uh, to the dock. So when you see two different windows, you know when they're when they're minimized, you know like if you were to hover your your uh, mouse over, it would open up like that so you can see what two two windows are in there. So but doing it this way, you know, kind of solves that problem a little bit. So I think it looks pretty cool. But I'm not too sure people really know how to do that, like a new user would. But anyways, it's something new that they're doing. And um, let me put on multiple windows and just see if that works. All right. Go down here. Alt-Tab. All right. It does show up. So let's try my browser. Let go of tab. I mean, Alt. And it takes me to my browser. Tab. Let's go to my home folder. Let me pick which one. Let's go to this one. There's that one. So that's pretty cool. So it does work. So how about if they're minimized? Minimize that. Minimize that. And so on. Okay. 
Let's try it again. All right, there they are. Now let's try that. Left. Up. Huh. There it goes. A little laggy, but I guess it's it, it does work. Okay, so. So yeah, it does it does recognize minimized files and folders and stuff. So, and also another thing I noticed, um, right click, create a document, let's go like a text file. It doesn't matter what it is. All right. So when you start dragging stuff around, your doc is going to disappear. I mean, it's, see how it doesn't highlight anymore. So let's say if I had G Edit in there, right? C I G or uh, T E X Text Editor drag that in there so to drag this around see how the the icon stays visible so you can just drag it over here you know what I mean and open it up even though there's nothing in there but it'll open up so kind of give you an idea you know what I mean so if I had like like VLC or a movie player in there or whatever and it had some you know some MK MKV files or whatever and I can just drag it to the dock and it'll play so I think that's a cool little feature I don't know if Natty had that but you know I just noticed that this earlier today so anyways that's all I really want to show you guys and I believe that's it for now before uh you know, this thing crashes again, so see you guys later.